Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Thursday, September 5th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down this slate of games. We got one NFL, four MLB games going your way, and some of them starting early. So uh, let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today. Where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome, guys. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got kickoff in the NFL, 5.20 p.m. Pacific. It is the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. We are seeing Chiefs minus three, 47 being the total, which when I see that number, I always think the sportsbook consigliere, I've done shows with them, and he's like, hey, if you don't know what you're doing, just throw out there NFL three and 47 and go from there see where the market is so it's funny the first game up we get that exact number um couple good tidbits i uh i read doing some research here first from the gold sheet six time patrick mahomes and uh and jackson have gone at it the two quarterbacks here and sure enough the dog is five and oh in the first five so that's something to watch coming out early also from uh mark lawrence another good newsletter here Lamar Jackson's 13-1-1 one one as a pick or dog in the regular season in his career. That's pretty impressive. I think those two stats uh, just coming off the board wanted to get out there. It does look like a clear, warm night, minimum wind in Kansas City. That's something that's making me pr pump the brakes on the under. At first glance, I was going towards the under. The Chiefs are 18-4, and four, their last 22 in Arrowhead towards the under. And, of course, Chris Jones right up there up front, the defensive tackle. He's coming off a season with uh, double-digit sack numbers, 13 tackles, four loss. He kind of is a game-changer up front going up against, you know, the mobile Jackson. Kansas City, you know, the kind of the storyline here, they're trying to make history. Trying to be the first NFL team going for three straight Super Bowls. It's happened eight times before, meaning two team uh, winning two Super Bowls and then going for a third. The last being the 2005 New England Patriots. Not great results though from an ATS standpoint. You know, betting on these teams in this third year. Of course, after two Super Bowls, you're going to be highly priced in the markets. I guess you can make that argument towards Baltimore as well. Um, and last thing here, guys, it's playoff revenge. And I think revenge gets thrown out a little bit too much in the sports betting world. But when it's playoff revenge, meaning, you know, this is you're playing against the team that ended your season last year. It was your last game played. This is an, in, kind of a unique situation where the Ravens are playing the team that knocked them out last year um, in their last you know, game of importance, you know, not counting the preseason. And sure enough, it was only the Chiefs, you know, they, they, they played uh, the Super Bowl. That's the only other game that they've played. So I think all of that pointing towards Baltimore here, guys, I uh, getting the plus three. I think this is a tightly fought game comes right down to the end. So as a sports better, hey, let's jump on the Baltimore Ravens and put that three in our pocket. If it lands two, if it lands one with the KC winning, we're still going to cash this ticket. And uh, hey, Baltimore. Or I wouldn't be surprised if they just win outright. So we're on the Ravens plus three over the Chiefs kicking off the NFL season. All right, let's turn the page towards uh, Major League Baseball. Got a bunch of day games here. 10, 10 a.m. Pacific start time. It is the Minnesota Twins in the Tampa Bay Rays. Taj Bradley going for the Rays. Pablo Lopez for the Twins. Twins minus 140, seven being the total. Twins come in 11 games over. The Rays one game under. This is Game four, wraparound game, Tampa Bay up two to one in this series. Lopez going for the Twins, the 28-year-old Venezuelan back-to-back-to-back -back -back starts, not letting up a run. He's been hot right now, six-plus in all of those, seven and two of them, actually. His last time versus the Rays wasn't all that great, only four innings, seven hits given up. Looking at Bradley going for the, for the Rays, he was solid overall. He had a great, you know, two-month run there over the summertime. We were on him a couple times, but sure enough, when August came, since August 1st, 37 hits given up his last 23 innings pitch. That's a 10-5 ERA on top of that. Hey, this Rays lineup hasn't been hot either. They've really struggled against righties. I actually think the 40 cents on the Twins is a little short here, guys. So we'll uh, list Pablo Lopez as the starter, and we're jumping on the Twins over the Rays. Next one up, we got uh, 12.45 p p.m. Pacific. Arizona Diamondbacks, 
San Francisco Giants. Blake Hall, the lefty, going for the Giants. Merrill Kelly going for the D-backs. Total of seven, minus 145. That's the Giants as the home favorite. I think this number is surprising. I mean, it's all about Blake Snell here. That's why uh, they're having to lay the 45 cents. But the Giants are four games under 500. They've lost four straight. They've lost six of seven. And they're up against the Diamondbacks here, who are up two to zero in the series. This is just game three. So they're going for the sweep here. Arizona very off mix. They got the 35-year-old out of Arizona State, Kelly, on the hill. The former Sun, Sun Devil, he pitched in the KBO. He's got a 4-3 ERA. He's pretty much pitched in tune to that. His last time against the Giants, he went six and two-thirds, just one earned run given up. Like that past performance. And Snell, yes, he has been good, but he doesn't go deep. I mean, he's got 16 starts on the season. He's just two and three record-wise. Um, last time versus Arizona only lasted four and two thirds, giving up nine hits, five earned. This Giants lineup has been uh, rather quiet. Guys, I think the Arizona Diamondbacks is uh, is the side here. We get them as a dog plus 135, risk 100 to win 135. That's the Diamondbacks over the Giants. Last day game here, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific. We are heading to the Queen City for the Houston Astros in the Cincinnati Reds. Hunter Brown going for the Strohs. Big red machine going with Rhett Louder. Total of nine, minus 155. That's the Strohs as the road favorite. They're 11 games over 500, whereas the Reds, what, six games under 500. They have won three straight games. So uh, I guess that's something pointing towards the big red machine. But their starter, Louder, 22-year-old out of Wake Forest. He's a rookie. This is only his second MLB appearance. He did go four innings, one earned in his uh, in his opener. I just think the advantage here is towards the Strohs. Much better lineup, much better against handedness of pitcher and actually the better bullpen. And Hunter Brown, the starter for the Astros, his last five starts since, you know, the calendar turned to August, since August 1st, 1.45 ERA. He's also back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back starts, six-plus innings, one earned run or less. He's riding a hot hand here, guys. Don't love the 55 cents. But actually, it sets up well for the run line. As the road team, we're getting that number down. It's the Houston Astros minus one and a half here at a pretty good price over the Reds. We get last game up. It is a night game on the diamond. The only one we're going to talk here, other than, of course, the Ravens and the Chiefs. It's the Detroit the Detroit Tigers in the San Diego Padres. Martin Perez, the lefty going for the pods. Casey Mize for the Tigers. Eight and a hook being the total. Minus 150. That's the pods as the home favorite. Padres come in. 19 games over 500, winning three straight. The Tigers right at 500. They've been playing good baseball. Eight and four their last 12. This is game three. The Padres up two to zero in the series. They got Mize on the hill, the first pick overall out of Auburn, War Eagle. It's his second start back from the IL. In his last eight starts, no more than three earned runs. So he's been pretty good. And he's up against Martin Perez, the 33-year-old Venezuelan. Off a off, rough outing last time out. Five innings, four earned, three walks against the Tampa Bay Rays. This is a tough one. And also, you know, doing this show a, a little late this morning, guys, apologies about uh, getting it out. But um, the Padres, their bullpen here, Robert Suarez, Tanner Scott and Jason Adam, their top three bullpen arms have all pitched three of the last four days. So it's unsure about their availability. And the Detroit Tigers, you go over the last five weeks. This is the number one bullpen by my numbers. So I actually think the late innings favor the Tigers. We get a big plus price on them, near plus 140. Let's jump on the Tigers as the big barking dog for Thursday night on the Diamond. So in recap, guys, we are on the Tigers, plus 140. We're on the Houston Astros, minus the run line. We are on the Diamondbacks, plus 135 with another dog barking. Minnesota Twins listing Pablo Lopez, minus 140. And in the NFL kickoff, it's the Baltimore Ravens, plus the three. Drew Martin checking out. Smash that like button, comment below. Premium picks, wagertalk.com. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Friday. Cash those tickets.